Okay, so we're gonna try doing this. Hopefully you can see. Um, Tina is going to be our model for doing the ears. As you can see, we have a little flyweight ear here. That's what we're gonna work on taping. Um, I like these screaming tables because I'm single by myself and it helps stabilize the head. She has grown a lot since the last time I did this to her. So I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up to put it nice and tight so I have control of the head. Um, what we're gonna do, as you can see, this is the flying ear. We're wanting to pull it down so it lays like this. So um, you're gonna fold the ear in half, real pretty, just like that. You're gonna take it and fold it in half. You want these two sides up evenly, that's how you know you have it. I'm also going to put a chin strap on her just because that ear is very persistent. What you're gonna do is measure it first. This is the one I sacrificed and measured. She actually you know, bit it in play when I was measuring it. Um, so I use that and then I cut one the same length and put it up here. So after you measure it, because you're wanting it, you're, you're choking yourself, move up. There you go. Um, you're gonna measure it from right here to right here and that's gonna help stabilize it. Then what you're going to do so it doesn't stick underneath the chin is you're just gonna tape it so it sticky sides are gone. It's not sticky on either sides. And then this top part will stay sticky. Okay, so this is an ear we wanna pull down. So I just take it and kind of have it in the front and then it just goes underneath. And we want it just a little bit, not, we want it snug, but not so snug that she can't breathe or feel it's like she can't move. Okay, so now that's in place. And now we just gotta fold them in half. And so I've got these little strips already ready to go. And it's just yay big, hopefully that's long enough. If not, I'll have to cut another one. And you probably can't see. But you're just gonna take this and then keep that fold right there. And you're gonna go underneath. It's a little harder with the strap to do it. If you don't use the strap, this is really actually really easy to wrap. And sometimes you don't need the strap. It just kind of depends what your ear is doing and how heavy the ear arm is. Her ears are very light, and this one's just basically popping all the way up. So here's the problem ear. And as you can see, it's all taped. And we just gotta do the other side. So again, you fold that ear in half, like that, and, and line it up. tricky part is getting inside when you have the chin strap. If you don't have a chin strap, it's easy. And it got, the tape got over here. Hopefully I can make do. And then you just make sure it's nice and tight and the tape is on there in all spots. Squeeze it. And there she is. She's got little this hopefully won't be, you don't want it so loose that it comes out over the muzzle because they'll gag themselves with it just, just because, you know. But hopefully that is good. It's, it's, it gives a little bit of slack underneath, about a finger's width, um, but not too much that they're putting it in their mouth and making a bridle out of it. So there she is, and we'll keep this up for three days. And um, you can also kind of massage the ear up in here to kind of help break down the cartilage when you're cuddling with them and then take it out after three days and then put it in until basically the ears are staying down and then you know you're done with it. But she is done. And let's let them see this close up. This is Tina. And again, you don't have to use a chin strap. It depends what your dog is doing, but that gives it extra support to stay down because some ears are very stubborn.